Welcome back to the audio workshop. I just wanted to briefly pop back in to address an issue with the type of audio files you put on your server to play in your custom built HTML5 audio software. Firefox and Opera do not fully support the operation and events of MP3 files yet in new HTML5 audio programs that you build. But they do fully support .org files. And it's not the audio programming that's a problem. It's a problem with Firefox and Opera not supporting MP3 files because MP3 is really the most popular audio file format worldwide. And really those two browsers should be fully supporting .mp3 files. It's kind of retarded that in 2014, even still, we have to have silly workarounds for stupid things that different browsers are doing. And they're not making any sense. First, we'll demonstrate the normal operation using MP3 file in Chrome and Internet Explorer. Here's Internet Explorer. And we can seek through. No problem. The whole audio track. Now let's go to File, Preview, and Browser. Chrome. Seeking through the whole audio track, no problem. Now let's go to File, Preview, and Browser. Opera. It doesn't even play. The MP3 file won't even play in Opera. Now let's go to File, Preview and Browser, Firefox. The MP3 file plays in Firefox, but let me go to seek through it and go to the end. See? It stayed at the beginning of the song and now it's going to start pushing the duration time to meet the current play time and it's all screwed up. That's because Firefox doesn't fully support the operation of MP3 files in HTML5 audio programs yet. And you can blame all of this fully on those two browsers because it's their fault that they're not up with the times. But there's an easy fix. All you have to do is serve up .org files to Firefox and Opera. So let me change this to .org. And I happen to have stoker.org type audio file in my audio folder. And I'll show you that in a second. Let me go to File, Preview and Browser, Firefox. Now let me seek through. See, it lets me seek through the song just fine now. And all operation is normal. When it gets to the end, it's gonna loop. The seek bar follows along the playhead. And we can seek through the track anywhere we want. So just changing that to .org fixes the issue. Now, here's a little script that you can use. If you want to make it dynamic and serve up MP3 for Chrome and Internet Explorer and all other browser users, and then serve up .og for Firefox and Opera. So you can go up here where you're initializing your variables and put a new variable in called extension and make it equal to .mp3. And that's going to be the default extension. The next thing we're going to do in our JavaScript is get the agent, the user agent, which shows which browser that the user is visiting your page with. Now after that, we're going to use an if condition with the index of method on the agent string to evaluate to see whether or not they're using Firefox or Opera. And if they are, we're going to give them the .og extension. So we say if agent.index of Firefox does not equal minus one or agent index of Opera does not equal minus one, then we're going to give them extension.org. Now all you have to do is go down here and remove the extension and then put a plus sign and put ext. So ext represents your .mp3 or .org extension. So Firefox users will get stoker.org. Chrome users and Internet Explorer users will get stoker.mp3. And you can actually visually check the extension by just saying alert ext. Now if we preview this in Chrome, we get the JavaScript alert saying .mp3. And they get served the mp3 file. Now if we preview this in Firefox, they get the .org extension 
and we have normal audio operation with our seek bar. So if you happen to have been experiencing any problems testing in Firefox with your seek bar, any seek bar issues, this will clear those up. You just have to use .org files instead of .mp3 files. And there are lots of places online free. There's lots of sites that you can go to to convert your mp3 files to .org files. And then you just throw them up into the same folder online and then your audio player will automatically give the .org extension to Firefox and Opera users. And Opera has even more issues than Firefox does with mp3 files. So I just wanted to let you guys know that and I'm not going to be putting this kind of scripting in all of the rest of the the audio workshop. That's going to be on you to do by yourself. I showed you how to do it. Now I'm not going to be redundant with that throughout all the lessons. I'm going to be programming for mp3 player and I'm not going to be considering .org files in the rest of the tutorials. We brought this up early on in the workshop so you guys can address it yourselves. It'll be very redundant if I put this in every one of the audio workshop tutorials. Now here in my audio project I have in my audio folder stoker.mp3 and stoker.org. So just make sure that in your audio folder you have .org versions of all your mp3 files.